Hey YouTube, in today's video I am coming to you with most of my makeup done except my eyeshadow because I'm going to be trying out the new Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette and I'm going to be doing like some swatches on my eyelids. I'm, yeah, I don't want to do swatches on my hand for this one because I want to actually see what the performance of these shadows are but this is what they look like and as you can see they are sort of mauvey pink some ivory some rose gold so i guess what they consider cherry inspired you have a nice mix of mattes and of sort of shimmery colors i have primed my eyelids with the i heart stage eyeshadow primer and i'm going to be using a couple of brushes here and i need to grab my color switch um i have a couple of eyeshadow brushes i have the sigma e55 i have a bh cosmetics 103 just flat shader brush i have the morphe e27 and i have the sigma e40 shader brushes so i'm going to be going between those four brushes to do my looks and i'm also going to be using like the bh cosmetics version of the color switch to clean my brushes off between applications so you can see one what the eyeshadows look like on my skin tone and two what they apply like instead of using swatches on my hands so if you want to see how this goes keep watching i did want to say the price of the palette is 49 dollars. it is available of course on urbandecay.com you can pick it up at sephora and i think also ulta actually you can also pick it up at qvc because that is where i picked mine up and i think I'm not quite sure if they still have this, but they did have their um, makeup on sale for six payments. So if you need to budget this, QVC is the best place to get it. Um, so if you wanna see what the swatches look like, keep watching. All right, I am back. Um, I'm gonna quickly go over the shades before I start doing the application. I wanted to show you, this is my clean sort of bh cosmetics color switch that is going to be sitting open here and the shades that are in the palette are uh, let's see you have and let's see if i can focus on this okay so starting from this end there is hot spot we just do it this way is being blown out you have caution you have they are not shown very well there so we'll show it here this one here is bang bang next to that is a mat it is called feels f-e-e-l-z next to that is juicy um turn on ambitious bing this one is a bang. I am doing a horrible job at this. Devilish. Young Love is here. It's a pretty color. Drunk Dial is here. And then Privacy is here. My camera is doing a horrible job of showing you how these colors look. Granted, there are a lot of light colors in this palette, but there are some deep, decent deep colors as well not as deep as I would like it to be but there are some deep shades in this palette so because you were not really able to see what they look like on my eyes I am going to show you um so these two light colors I am going to apply them I think as brow bone colors just because that's how I would use them so I think I'm going to use like the little brush that came with the palette. And I'm just gonna use this little small brush here. I can't see myself putting these light colors all over my eyes because that's not how I would wear them. But um, let's get started. I am gonna take my glasses off 
and the first shade that I'm going to show you, which I think is a perfect brow bone color, is called Hot Spot. It does appear to be a matte. So let's see how that looks. And hoping you can see that that is what hot spot looks like on the brow bone and yeah you can see that so that is hot spot the one I'm going to use on my left eye is this next one here it's called caution and it is a little bit deeper of a color than um, Hot Spot is. And this is, this is what Caution looks like on my brow bone. And see if you can. You can sort of see hot spot a little bit better than you can see caution. Caution seems to be going towards more of a natural highlight for me. But that is that. Hopefully you can see it. So everything else, I think I'm just going to do a sort of speed through. Yeah, you can see both of them. You can see, <laughs> I'm going to do like a speed through and I'll just put the names on the screen so you can see them. Um, I am going to be like wiping my eyes off and then reapplying the I Heart Stage eyeshadow primer. So all of the shades will have an eyeshadow primer. So just keep watching. <music>
So those were my final um, eye swatches and I have decided I'm going to do a quick look and this is going to be my look of the day. Um, I am going to sort of speed through what I'm going to put on my eyes but I think I am going to be going with a little bit of devilish in the crease and some young love on the lid and then a little bit of privacy like on the outer corner and probably up under the lower lash line so that's pretty much telling you what i'm going to be doing so let's go ahead and get this look together here <music>
right, you all. So this is my final look. I feel like it went a little bit light um, on the makeup, which is what I do. I don't do like heavy makeup, but this is the look that I came up with. On my lips is a julep lip gloss from last year, the Ultra Hydrating Lip Gloss in Vibes, and it looks like this, and I need to put some more on. I did on it something sort of neutral on the lips because I am not going anywhere. Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.
Oh, we are getting some more of these. All right, you all, so this is my final look. I feel like I went a little bit light um, on the makeup, which is what I do. I don't do like heavy makeup, but this is the look that I came up with. On my lips is a Julep lip gloss from last year, the Ultra Hydrating Lip Gloss in Vibes, and it looks like this, and I need to put some more on. I did on it something sort of neutral on the lips because I am not going anywhere. Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.